Okay, wait, so the other is fired. What happens if you do like try equal like quality troops into each other? Yeah, you wanna find that out, so but yeah, that's why we're here to test, I guess. Yeah, why are we barky, why are we? Why are we? Fortunately my mouse is dead, so I have to use This how it is. <laughs> Alright, so just to be clear about things, this is a modded environment designed specifically for the test. The mod changes a couple of things. I must stream. I'm just recording. No. There is no moral from PP. There is no moral from prestige. There is no moral from army tradition. There is no uh, leader traits that affect combat, either to kill casualties or moral casualties. And the same is true for lead or ruler traits. So the only thing RNG that can theoretically still happen, I forgot to remove, is event RNG, but I mean with AI disabled and the the time that we're going to be testing things, no AI is gonna click any event. No event is going to automatically transpire. Besides that, the chance in the early game of any event triggering is very low. So I can assume that all of that will be fine and dandy. Gonna delete this fort here. All right, East Club. So the purpose of the investigation is to try to recreate a number of bugs that we detected yesterday and record them. The first bug that we will try to recreate is the one where troops in the back row that have moral and should thus reinforce the front row in order to win a battle do not ever go to the front row losing the battle. So for this purpose we're just going to bug modes. Yep. Uh, already put dice on and the spawn. Infantry. Well, actually, I don't need to write that. We just do spawn like it's fine. Huh? We're just gonna spawn. There we go. Go to attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, gonna spawn them. Spawn. Four, five. Now you do know that they they spawn as Caroline, yeah. Like we're being a tech tree. So just to confirm, both of them are gonna have Caroline. This is Caroline as well for Poland. So in fact the unit pips are the same. We could switch them to a dish, but it doesn't matter for the purpose of the test. And just to so that you can see, they both only get moral from technology, nothing else. Everything is the same, nor Poland nor Lithuania start with any combat modifiers. So technically, it is 100% identical quality for both attacks. Then we go to attack Poland. Actually, actually, wait a second. We're gonna do it the opposite way because Lithuania is the one that declares the war. I mean, Poland can declare the war too, you just give him a king. There's no reason to, there's no other like... This is just... Right. On... What is it? 2961? Yeah. Still having a memory cycle? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright. So, now we're going to disable our AI, start taking a save, test one, there. Give it a description. Yeah, I can imagine giving it, and not just remember. How do you not give it a description? Alright, so the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to wait a couple of months for it to be fully 
two months exactly is for our troops to be fully moral. It might be three months. I should have given them more over. Anyway. Yeah. It I should also give people manpower. Uh, you can decide manpower gives it now. No, I guess fifty five yeah. Give them five million. Why do you need five? And just to make sure, yeah. Both give stay moral. The what? Give them capture as well so they don't randomly bankrupt and you bring that get give them extra troops. Okay. Say it again. Hey. There's a pig. It's not even getting there. Fine. Right, the first one is used. So. There. The water exhaustion stability shouldn't affect that. Why is it circles? No, it doesn't affect it. It's like. Does it affect for the thing? Alright. So everything is equal, yeah? If we send in 20k versus 20k. So what we know about the game theoretically suggests that obviously this stack is going to win. Now only if we Okay, so actually one thing that we don't know about the game is if we send a 20k versus a 20k, everything is equal, who is going to win? Yeah? We don't know what the rule is, whether it's tag order, attacking defender, I don't think it's been studied well. I did like a couple of tests like three years ago or two years ago, uh, but I found no logic determining what the case is. And even if there was logic back then, who's to come say that the logic is still the same because, you know, there's like been 10 patches. Um, but like, yeah, yeah, we're not going to try to investigate that. The first thing, so that it should work is you send in your 20k. If you send the 4k with them, they'll just go to the back row because combat width is 20. Yeah, 5 plus 15, so 20. And units on the back row take full moral casualties. They're not going to deal anything. They're not going to add damage to the troops because they're infantry on the back line. And therefore... If we send our 24 versus 20k, it's completely equal in principle, yeah? And wins whoever, whatever like determines who is the winner or the loser in a completely equal thing. On the other hand, if we send our troops even a single day later, as, as in arriving a single day later, the, uh, the consequence of that is... That our troops on the back row, they will go to the back row, they will be taking moral casualties, but they'll end up surviving with one day of moral left and so technically they should go to the front line and win the battle right because when the opponent front line collapses as well as our front line then our our troops should come onto the front line but we'll see that this is not going to happen or you know hopefully we'll be able to recreate this from not happening okay so yeah we just send them in just so we're clear, it's grasslands and there is no river penalty. As you can see, so everything equal. Right here, and I'm going to test two here. Two. All right. So we could actually first just do the regular fight. Yeah, combat dice is one. Yeah. We put combat dice uh -huh. low so we can see. Uh, okay. So yeah, everything equal. You can see here two thirty one, thirty one. Yeah, same regiment strength nine six six nine six six everywhere is all the same. Every troop attacking the one in front. All right. I mean, there's nothing to watch here. We can just see 
who's going to win, who's gonna lose, yeah? Should be average morale, uh, average morale differences. There's no difference. Let me just check it. The average, six, not, six, average morale. How would we? we never hover it over this tab stat ever. Okay, okay. Yeah, so everything equal. There's nothing that could have affected it. Okay, there you go. We lost. All right, hold on, boss. Yeah, if we just do the same experiment again, we have to remember every time to disable our AI and set combat dices. <clears throat> yeah, if we do the same one again. I think Poland will lose again. Yeah. Oh my God, it's taking a lot. Right, AI. And that dies one. All right. All right, there we go. We lost again. Now we're gonna lower. We're gonna go from Lithuania's point of view instead. Attack of Lithuania. We're gonna see what happens then. You know. Now. Notoriously in, in, in EU4, just so we're clear, there's no like set RNG like at the start of the month like there can be or like, you know, at start of the turn like there can be in other games like in Heroes of Might and Magic 3 when it comes to what skills you would get from experience, from level up, or in Civ, uh, in Civ, some Civ games when it comes to combat results, the like damage range rng there's none of that in u4 so if you reload and you have no fixed dices you won't get the same dices etc um okay. oops and we're gonna deal with these but it, yeah, if they move it's, it's faster yeah 11 the 11 then tag lit they arrive on the point here yeah. What? Okay. Well, oh. as you can see, they arrive one day later, so we're fine. Yeah, everything else is the same. So Lithuania would win when Poland attacks. So the question is, will Poland win? So we can already rule out like tag order. Yeah. Um. So it seems the attacker loses, right? That seems to be the logic, but that's infantry versus infantry when everything is proven simple. But if I remember, if you try, I mean, it could also still be RNG, of course, because we only got three tests. We're not going to do like, you know, sufficient tests to rule out RNG from a 50-50 perspective. Um, because that would take too much time. But then there's also the questions of what happens in equal fights if you have cannons in the mix, if you have cavalry in the mix. So there's like, there, like my point is this is a bit too much like for, for these types of tests to, that we can't set them up feasibly. I mean, could, if you know, if I paid Saibu like one one dollar an hour to do this for like a <laughs> hundred yeah. hours, then maybe we could have some results. Uh, maybe that's fine. But, even I think that that is uncharitable to poor Saibu, so... Okay. Enjoy, agree. So... So far, you know... Nothing, uh, nothing clear. Bunch of waste of time, I just wanted to show this. Okay, so... Uh, AI... Combat... Dice... Yikes. Uh, combat... Dice... One. I don't believe I need to refix combat dice every time. So this time what we're going to do, this time what we're going to do is we're going to pause on the 12th and we're going to send in our reinforcement stack, okay? Which therefore should win us the battle. Okay, there you go. They're going to arrive. They're going to arrive on the 23rd. On the 23rd, the battle will still be ongoing and we'll have on our back row troops uh, with moral, yes? Therefore, we should win the battle. And we would have won the battle in previous patches. I mean, I believe one. I believe patch one point three zero introduced new new bugs to the game. Why exactly that is the case, we can't speculate. Maybe it has something to do with how they attempted to fix the defender's bug, 
which you know still remains open whether or not they actually did and we're gonna test that um but of course that's just random speculation um frankly we can't even be completely confident that this was introduced uh, the box that we may or may not reproduce today from yesterday were introduced by patch 1.30 it's just given that we did test in the past and you know the amount of times that i've played this game and watched warfare and you know with a critical eye i i feel that it is improbable it's not the right word because it has nothing to do with probability but i just find it uh I would find it safe to say that it was patch 1.30 introduced a, a new number of combat bucks, yes? Okay. Like Alright, so there you go. Back. You can see we got they, they go straight to the back row, day one that they arrive, yes? And they have more moral. Hmm? They took one day of moral casualties, which corresponds to this. They're not taking zero point. Oh no, they are taking zero point zero three moral casualties a day. But so is the this like everything in the fight. Yeah. So um, what to say? Yeah. Now they're gonna keep taking every day their moral casualties, just like the front line, the exact same. Now you do note that they are not seemingly influencing the fight. Yeah, or at least not sufficiently. For there to yet be a, a moral, discernible moral difference. And they shouldn't be, right? So this is the expected result. So now I just need to wait for this to be like... Yeah, okay, so next turn, right? Next turn, the or next day, the fight is over. And... Poland should win, right? Because Poland has moral, yes? Pretty straightforward. Yeah, they still have moral in these troops, and these troops should go to the front line, and thus Poland should win. But, is that gonna happen? Okay, okay, we need one more day. This we ended up at zero. There you go. Boom! Yeah, we just lose. Yeah, Poland loses, the attacker loses. Our troops in the back row don't get to the front row. Oh, actually, I meant to show something that I, I forgot to show. Did they, um, did, did, did you see on the final day on 0 0.01 whether or not one of our troops went to, like, the, the, uh, what's it called? The alternate? Yeah, did they go to one of the, uh, four, like, squares in the, in the end? I don't think so, right? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. That doesn't happen on anyway, the Poland battle. loses, Poland should win the battle, but Poland loses the battle, yes? Okay. Poland loses the battle, and once we have one more, like... We have one more example of Poland losing the battle, which is the attacker. So that adds to our, like, RNG pool, alright? And I don't think I need to fix Kalma Dysa, so I'm gonna just do AI. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, but this time I'm going to reinforce one day after the battle starts. It's always or, been the attacker that loses, right? Or... Yeah, so far. Okay, so this time we do everything the same, but one day difference. The result should be the same. The only question that I want to look at is whether or not there's ever going to be any alternate, well, this new concept we call alternating. Um, but we, we know Poland should lose, right? It makes no difference. Poland's going to have a little bit more moral. This time, so 16, everything is the same. The back row has slightly more, was one extra day of moral casualties, or one less day of moral casualties, or more moral, but this makes no difference because they could already have gone to the front row. Okay, so we don't actually notice any like alternating because sometimes we saw some weird stuff with, uh, but we'll show this later on. All right, and well, we're just gonna lose. Okay, there you go, Poland loses again. Attacker loses again. All right, and this is all fine and dandy. <clears throat> now it doesn't matter how much troops you have, as long as they're under. Um, as long as they are under. As 
double combat with. We're gonna have to wait a couple of minutes again. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can't just get like a prestige event. Oh, actually, no, man, it doesn't happen. Take a seat. I guess I put the space this time so I will eat it. Yikes. <laughs> Alright. More. Okay. Oh, one more day. Alright. Save this. Straight. Now, attacking just like last time, then we're reinforcing with 20k instead of our 4k. Logically, the principle should be the same, there should be no difference. And there, and there will be no difference, yeah. But you will see some visu interestingly visual uh, phenomenon happening. Um, three, reinforce on the 12. Okay. Actually, maybe I could have sent 40k straight in. Yeah, but we'll do that after. Okay, so there you go. Everything is the same. Our 20k comes in. Okay, there you go. Yeah, first day you saw it. First day they were in. Second day they are not in. Yeah, our troops that were in the back row on spots 39 and or uh, 39 and 40 have gone to the reserves on the second day. Yeah. And on the reserves, they don't take moral casualties, whereas in the se second rank, they take moral casualties. So that explains the difference in the moral, yeah? And now the next day, bam, they're back, yeah? 39 and 40 are back, yeah? And they've again taken moral casualties, so they have the same difference as before. Yeah? Uh, hover over the left back, left edge, just to look at his name. Yeah, it's the same, yeah? Okay. Okay. So how over the guy on the left for alternates? Just see his name. Because you can show him you can show the uh, retreating Yeah, right okay. Above, right? Yeah, right on, yeah. yeah but everyone has equal morale at the end. Okay, so forty and thirty nine, yeah. 40. And the Foyne is going to win. I think because we still have like uh, like speculation as maybe the day on which the battle ends, where the troops happen to be, whether they happen to be in the in the back row or the reserves, may or may not impact. So here, next day is the day this fight ends. Next day they will be in the reserves, logically speaking. Yeah. You're gonna alternate again, or they may not, because maybe I mean we'll see. Yeah. Oh, this time we won. That's pretty interesting. This time we actually won. Yeah. So we're gonna do the same test. Or right, check the morale. Check the morale first. Fine. So this time somehow we won. Yeah. But in our previous test yesterday, we lost. And I think it's because of the one day difference. So we're going to do the same with one day difference. And so there's going to be a difference in when our guys are alternating and when they are. So the battle is going to be over with our guys actually being in the front, in the back row. And thus we're going to lose. Yeah. Um, so what we're supposed to show here is that after a battle, you win moral. Yeah. Your troops get moral. Yeah. And in fact, some of our troops suffered less moral casualties regiment 39 and 40 because they've been alternating so they ended up taking uh, some amount less of moral casualties you know depending on like they were constantly missing either a fire phase or shock phase so it's not exactly half um and so you can see that they actually have the same moral as every other troop at the end of it so presumably the way to like giving moral works is that it either like recalculate some kind of average across all your infantry, which would be weird, or it, it like any troops that is under the minimum that it calculates get elevated to it. So, but I mean, it raises questions as 
how exactly morals di distributed after winning a battle to your troops, right? Because if everything was just distributed like uniformly, then these two regiments should have more moral than the other moral the other regiments, yeah, but they all have one point five six okay unless there is a UI like a, a user interface bug and they actually don't have that moral that could also be the case, but it, it I mean from the UI it seems like they have the same moral now we're gonna do the same test. But this time we're going to do it one day after. So not on the 12th, we're going to reinforce on the 13th. And we're going to see if there's a difference, whether or not we lose or win the battle. Yeah. Now, again, I want to stress that maybe we win the battle. Um, you know, by, by RNG. Yeah? It, like Poland has always lost. So this leads us to believe that. But the, you know, the... the the sample, of course, was way too low. So it might just have been that Poland just RNG won this one. Yeah. Okay. Now, this time we're going to reinforce on the 13th. Okay, there we go. So, everything is the same. The difference is... Wait a second. Uh, no, it's just like last time. The first day they were on the back row. And the next day they go off. So it's the same, okay? It's exactly the same. The first day they arrive, they go all on the back row. And the next day they alternate out, yeah? So there is now a difference in the in the days, yeah? In if of sequencing, okay? Were they alternating? Yes. Yes, they just alternate. I mean, they just, like you can see, yeah? There, and there, uh -huh. and there, and there, okay. So everything is the same, except that the alternating sequence is one day difference. So the difference is that the day that our, our front line is going to break, this one. Yeah, now we're on the reserves and we're going to come back to our back row on the day that we're going to break. This time we lose. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so, yeah. So they have to be in the reserves for them to go to the well. Uh, they have to. So exactly. So we need troops to be in the reserves to reinforce the front line. That's the bottom line. Yeah, that seems to be the bottom line. Unless again, there's there's like Poland was supposed to it's RNG that Poland loses or wins because everything else is equal. Yeah, and nothing is going to the front line. I, so there we go. That's. Unless there are some troops available in the reserve, they don't seem to go to our front line, no matter how much moral they have. But now we want to show something a little bit different. I'm going to go here, plus two. Now this one is also all right. This one we're gonna go tag lit. Um, when was this one again? I don't remember. Actually, four five three nine. Four five three. I actually it's remember. Yeah. Not offenses. I don't. Okay, then tag pull. And we're just gonna wait three months. Um, yeah. You can also see if, like, if marching the troops does anything or if they like being in two different armies. No. Like, if it's anything. What? You can also see if like marching the troops does anything, or if like them being in different armies means. Anything. Yeah, we can we can check that. Yikes! <laughs> but why is it like? Why is the formatting different? There's a page. No. 
Last time on the 12th, we reinforced on the 12th with our 20k we arrived, yeah? But again, note that the only reason why last time we won on the 20k, or seemingly the only reason we won on the 20 or on with uh, with our 20k reinforcements is that thanks to this alternating like phenomenon, whatever the fuck that is, we managed despite we managed to have two reserves just on that day we managed to have two regiments in reserve that able to re reinforce thus making us win yeah but so if we reinforce if at any point with anything on the back line that is under 19 we're not going to alternate yeah so we're never going to have anything on the in order to get anything on the reserves we must at least reinforce with 19 anything less is just gone yeah anything else is gone <clears throat> Yeah, and then we have to pray that it happens on the day that we happen to be in the reserves, yeah? So here, I mean, here we're just going to lose no matter what, but anyway, yeah, here we're just going to lose no matter what. For the, uh, for the attack, yeah, I don't know. Oh, so, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, here, wh wherever we arrive, it doesn't matter, because we, we don't have enough to go, we don't have any troops in reserves no matter what happens, yeah? Okay, so I should have actually looked at something else. Everything is equal, yeah, nothing matters. Nothing really matters. Okay, we lose, makes sense. Back row doesn't affect our front row at all. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the big boy test thing. Yeah, you like that, Cyber? And the big boy testing? Yeah, the big boy testing. You like changing the format for each test save? I don't like that. No, I don't. Alright, whatever. Um, on. I also forgot this one. Yeah. Lol, a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2961. The other one is 4593. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, no, not. 4591, maybe? Wait, how are over? I'm gonna do this. Daisy. Daisy. Only I had my mouse. Well, it's very easy. We got two stacks of 20. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, you shouldn't have like spawned them on the same day. Now we can like track them with the morale difference. Yeah, but mm, okay. Tag. On the, the month afterward. Okay, now we're gonna go to that. Uh, Did this go? Now we need to wait months. No, we're at max. But here we're not at Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, the... the, the everything set up, what, what do we have? We have... 
these troops, two stacks, full moral of 20k, and we have two stacks, full moral of 20k, but one stack of two, and they are partial moral, they are 2.4 moral. So, yeah. so we take, we attack, and we're going to reinforce with our pollen bodies. And normally speaking, when we reinforce on the 12th, we're going to see uh, the full extent of the buff because we are going to quote unquote win the battle and thus reinforce. Um, well, I mean, we win the regular battle, but here Lithuania is going to have reserves. Now, yeah. Now, also, if you think about why, okay, so first order of business, yeah, you can already see that this is sketchy, yeah? Day one, suddenly, instead of having, like, both occupied and then alternating the day afterwards, one of them is missing. Only one of them, and the other guy is present. And actually, if you look at the guy who's present, it's the... It's uh, Regiment 43, but it's, it's the 41st guy, the guy that has less moral, yeah? The guy that started with 2.4, the other guy started with 2.5, or I mean the 2.38, whatever. Um, and so this guy just has less moral, yeah? Because he's one of the more damaged units. So it's not actually the, the uh, 40, it's not, it's part of the, the, the 41st and 32nd Regiment that goes here and it's alternating, yeah? Yeah, so next turn, there you go. Now we have 39 and 40. Yeah? yeah? Because they have more moral than the guy previously. Yeah? So after taking one day of moral casualties, shock casualties, the most important one, they have taken... Uh, and the next day we're going to alternate. We have again uh, 41 and 42. Yeah, and you can see a difference because one of 41 took the first day of casualties, and the second one didn't, yeah? That's why there's a, a moral discrepancy between those two, yeah? So they're going to keep alternating, and the consequence of them keeping alternating, so 39 and 40 with 41, 42, is that both of them, all four of them, rather, all four of them are going to end up with uh, moral, yeah? And there's always going to be two of them in the reserves, and there's always going to be two of them in their second ranks, and so we are guaranteed to have troops in the reserves with moral, yeah? And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So meanwhile, we're gonna see what happens here. Yeah, just so we're clear, everything is equal, yeah, say moral, say can casualties everywhere, doesn't matter, even on the outskirts, or just being this weird alternating, yeah. The back row is functioning properly, now we've started, and there you go, first day we arrive, we're on the thing, second day, because I passed one, we're alternating, just like last time, because we don't have enough. Now, uh, one of the questions is, like if we had let's say 46 troops in our in in this tag would we on day one have one empty or not like it shouldn't be right because we have enough troops to fill in even with two alternating we have enough troops in reserves to fill in the entire thing but still we have this one day of this like weird uh just empty square here so i think no matter how many infantry you have you're always going to have this one square that's that's uh, empty, but again, that's assuming that anything is logical in this world, which if it were, this shouldn't be working like this. Anyway, we rotate, we rotate, we rotate, we rotate, we rotate, we rotate. Now, remember we're, we should reinforce the day that we're going to, our front line is gonna break here. So one more, two more days, yeah. Okay, very important. Next day, we, today we are on the back row. Next day we are in the reserves. Thus we can reinforce. Yes? Thus our Poland troops are going to reinforce. And we have a Poland back line with a lot of moral because they reinforce later on in the battle. So they, there's like 12 days of them not taking moral casualties. Meanwhile, our 
The Fuegnan stacks are back row was present day one, so they've taken full moral casualties, with the exception of our four alternating troops. Two right now in reserves, two right now on the back row. They have roughly the similar um, moral, even though one started with less because one took the shock casualties, the other one the fire casualties. At this deck, the shock is more than the fire. But what is going to happen is Poland is going to be able to reinforce, is going to form a front line, and, and we're also going to go this way slower here, and uh, Lithuania is also, should also be able to reinforce. Yeah? So let's see what happens next turn. All of this troop should collapse. Right? Logically speaking, what should happen? What should happen is that our two troops of the reserves... Uh, no. Wait, what am I... Yeah, our two troops that will be from the reserves, from the alternating, should go to the front line. And everything in the back row should then go to the front line as well. Yeah? So logically speaking, we should just have a front line. Yeah, it's that simple. Yeah. And here we should have four troops on the front line. Because we have four troops with uh, moral that can go to the front line, right? Because if we think about it, the question is very like we could think of it as as binary, right? Or I mean, there's multiple hypotheses of how this is exactly going to work, but we see that when there are not enough troops in reserve to recreate like a new front line, there needs to be troops in the reserve from for one or of the two armies at some point to create a new front line. The question is, okay, if that is the case, if there is indeed somewhere, someone in someone's army, enough troops in the reserve to create a new front line, does then combat just, you know, is it then just normalized from there on? Yeah, and is everything just going to work like it should? So we're going to have a full front line here and we're going to have four guys here. Yeah. Or is it only going to work normally, quote unquote, for one of the two camps, the camps with the reserve? And is the other guy going to completely like bug out? Right. If both have reserves, then we would know everything's going to act normally. But we should test that out as well. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. Also. Take a note that our regiment strength is quite low. So we're going to be dealing, you know, way less damage and moral casualties than before. Yeah, last day, 220, 220, both equal. And here's the interesting part. We are in the reserves. Our front lines have not collapsed. In every other case, at this point, like our front lines are out of moral and therefore they should get the fuck out, yeah? But instead, both our front lines are zero moral, all right? This is like, no, it shouldn't happen, yeah? You should not get both front lines with zero. Like, someone should have lost here, but something weird happened and they, instead of our reserves coming to the front line, we just have a zombie we just have a zombie regiment fighting zombie regiments. Yeah. Okay. Now, the next day is the most interesting one. Everything is equal. We have even less, you know, thing casualties. Uh, I also, I, I didn't note this, but we... On the day of the retreat, when the battle retreats, I just want to also note, we didn't see it here, but I mean, you can see the recordings and look for yourself in the recordings. On the day that the battle resolves and they, you have troops retreating, there is actually kill casualties and moral casualties dealt. Yeah, you can see like the next day uh, this is going to be reduced. Yeah. Well, on, on the other one, it, I mean, this is what's supposed to Anyway, you saw that Poland took 640 kill casualties and Lithuania took 576 kill casualties on the next day. I mean, yeah, you, you need to check the, the recording for this, okay? So, so what happened here? So these were our alternators, yeah? Our alternators in, or in previous day that were in the reserves have alternated back into the back row. Where you know, completely nonsensically, they are back to the back row. You can tell that they're the alternators because they have more moral than the other back row. Our back row went to our front row. Yeah. 
Now, yeah. <clears throat> Poland did a lot of damage to Lithuania. Yeah, they did 576. Yeah, and you could think that is sensible, right? Because you're looking at it, you're like, well, they have fresh units, yeah? 968 regiment strength. They had 1k, yeah? But if you look at it, they dealt 220 on the other one. Now you can say there's rounding down things because you can only do a damage in multiplicatives of the combat with, because every unit can only deal a full casual kill casualty, etc. But that is not sufficient to explain it. Poland's, I mean, okay, there's, okay, my bad. There's uh, also a difference between fire and shock phase. So that might be enough to explain it, yeah? Right, you could say, okay, the, the new troops that have arrived, yeah, they have full regiment strength and it's, it's a shock phase, presumably was a shock phase, so it dealt more damage, more kill casualties, so they dealt 576 kill casualties to Lithuania, minus like the two stragglers here, etc. And that explains the kill casualties, but why? I don't know, wait a second. No, I'm what just, I'm just wrong, yeah, I'm just wrong, because... But no, no. Because, they they have yeah. like the re they have full regiment strength because they were in the back row, and you ha they have more because they are uh, they have two guys extra, and that's why they're dealing. They're just dealing more kill casualties, so they're dealing their day one kill casualties. But actually, aren't they dealing more kill casualties than on the very first day of the battle? Yeah, yeah, you are. That's the issue. That's yeah, because on the first day of the battle, we're dealing like three hundred twenty or something. But that's a fire phase, I. But that's the problem, right? Oh well, no, you can check that. Yeah, the no, then, first day is a fire phase, and like there's two effects, yeah? There's the effect that this is like 30 days later, so there's 30% more kill casualties. It's actually a bit more, it's 38, and then it's a shock phase. So could that explain the difference in, in the difference in kill casualties? It probably does, yeah? I would can check it. Yeah, it probably does actually. Anyway. So that 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 uh that idea was just wrong, yeah. That idea was wrong. Okay. But anyway, our troops are still <laughs> Lithuania is still zombied on the front line. They literally have zero moral, except for these troops. Yeah, the four stragglers. But they got another day. They got a whole two days of zombie mo morals. And our of course Poland is gonna win, right? One would think, yeah. The next day we're going to yeah, next day, bam, our front line collapses for the other guys because they were out of moral. Only the four stragglers remain. For some reason, one of the stragglers is on the back row. Why? Who knows? Um, it makes no sense. But there you go. And also, it, it, it like the, the weirdness continues because look at this. Oh, wait. Oh, what? That was new. So now it's... No, no, no. Now it goes to the front line like it should. What? But oh, this yeah. random guy goes to the back row, yeah? This guy has nothing to do, so when they have nothing to do, one of them goes to the back row. And only one of them, yeah? No, not two, yeah? No, yeah, the next day the other guy will go you to think? the back row. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened in the last this. Well, we won. But I can't show now. You can do like 20 versus 18 and you can see that it alternates which guy goes to the back row. Okay, now on the other hand, if we're going to reinforce one day later, then the battle starts, then we're not going to have any troops on the back row. Oh, then we're not going to have any troops on the reserves the day the, the, the front line collapse. Okay, 12, 13, there we go. So yeah, it dealt like 340 on this kill casualty one. When they had 966 day one. Right, this is our second day of battle, yeah. And we dealt 360. Like. I mean, I guess we have to do some math here. <laughs> let's uh, let's open up our uh, thing. So it's like what we had like what nine hundred eighty. So zero point nine. Yikes! Uh, 
Tap on it. Zero point ninety-eight times. What's our shock modifier? It doesn't really matter. Got five times twenty. I mean, there's the shock mod, hips modifiers plus the base thing. I mean, it's probably legit. Yeah, I think it's legit with forty percent extra. The full day on the, the like the actual full regiment strength, probably like just legit. But I mean, it. Like really? Because it's only forty percent extra from the day. Like that still seems suspicious, right? I do like the math doesn't check out. Like even intuitively, I don't even need to do it because, well, like, like thirty eight or seven days pass, so we're taking thirty seven percent extra kill casualties, and we have a shock phase. Our first shock phase with uh, zero point ninety eight percent. Yeah, so it's zero point ninety eight percent. X, yeah, versus um, one dot. So one point four essentially X, yeah. That's like, but no way does that lead to like double. Yeah, they, I mean they're like one point one point thirty eight divided by zero point ninety eight. Like it isn't equal to yeah. Like not even close to equaling two. Yeah, but we essentially had. How much? Like we had six hundred forty divided by six hundred forty divided by um, by three hundred sixty, which is one point seven seven, and if we one point four no 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 because that. It's, it's the same, it, it deals the same damage and the, the, the casualties are calculated at the same time. Yeah? Your, your kill casualties are not calculated before the other guy's kill casualties, because else we'd have difference in kill casualties. So it's not as if like the troops that were flanking, because they didn't take kill casualties, dealt less kill casualties, or more kill casualties. Yeah? So that doesn't, uh, didn't happen. Yeah, so there still seems to be an unexplained, like, like 30% increase in kill casualties on that day. Uh, not explained by just the, the sheer increase in kill casualties that transpired over time. Probably we, we need to do a bit, you know, a, a better analysis of this. My, my, like, my instinct says that it's wrong and my just like very quick, like, arithmetic check things that seems to suggest it's wrong, but anyway. Let's look at what happens here, the battle's going on, the troops are alternating, in and out, in and out, in and out, they're different, you can tell. Our guys come in, they started alternating, bloop, 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 bloop. But the difference is that Poland is going to lose, even though Poland wins, like, you know, massively in the, the last time, because we managed to get to the front line, and we had, like, and despite Lithuania, like, zombieing for two days, we're just gonna, this time gonna come to 0 0.1 but this time tomorrow the battle ends why does the battle end because we have nothing in our reserves even though lithuania has something in their reserves right so lithuania should continue the battle because lithuania has thing reserve and the thing is lithuania is not going to salvage the battle for poland though yeah poland also needs some things in their reserve for the battle to go on, I, I, I think so. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Poland loses. So the, the 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 simple fact that Poland has reserves is not sufficient to make the battle keep going on. Yeah, we need both of them to to have reserves for either of them to be able to reinforce. But still, this was really really fucking wonky. Yeah, you know the most wonky part about all of this is that. When the fight does go on for Poland, it doesn't actually field its front troops. Like, the guys that were in the reserve for Poland, that are necessary for Poland to continue fighting, don't actually make it to the front line. So, 
on the Polish front line, we end up with what? That day. No, we end up with the entire back row going to the front line. And the alternators going to the back row. <laughs> instead of everyone to the front line. Yeah, so somehow, when we do have reserves for Poland, our back row can make it to the front line. Just like for... Uh, not for Lithuania, because for Lithuania, the entire back front row that day is still is still zombied. So for Poland, the back row goes to the front line, but the reserves go to the to go to the back row, but not like okay. So this like I mean, yeah. Does this make any sense? No, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. All right, now we're gonna add more troops, yeah, and see if the weirdness I'm continues. Yeah. So I boost back, yeah. Fortunate for everyone, yeah. That may or may not be watching this uh, later on, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. True. All right, so there we go. A lot of weirdness. Now this time we're going to add a couple of troops to Poland, yeah, and now see what happens in that case. Yeah, so we're gonna spawn. Pull, um. Uh, Oh, yeah, that me 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 bragging there really backfired. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you like that? Also, I guess we haven't shown what happens if we just go in with forty k straight from the get go. But the uh, the result from going straight from the get go is that uh, both start the fight with like one guy in. In spot 39 but not in spot 40 then they both alternate and then it's just like the regular uh, the regular deal yeah um okay so here what we're going to do i'm going to send this leave to six like that another changing format yeah, I like that actually. Now we need to reinforce if we want the battle to continue on the 12th. We don't reinforce on the 13th. Oh my god. Okay. Well, actually, well, the 16 is fine as well. 16 is fine as well. Now, here we, I want him to, I want this guy to wait a bit. Doesn't really. Well, actually. Because now if we send this guy in, he's going to alternate as well. So there's always going to be reserves because this guy is in, yeah? So it doesn't actually matter whether it's 12 or 13, like, uh, or rather pair or impair, it doesn't matter because we're always going to have an alternator because this guy is going to be on our back line. Or on our reserves, rather. More crucial. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, this guy arrived, like, precisely on the correct day, I guess. To make sure that there are reserves in the back row. Okay, okay, so that was good timing right there, Zyber. Okay, so the first day when they are out of moral, now everyone is just zombies, and both of them have reserves, just like last time, and both of them have ev their entire back row filled. So the question is now what? Now it's like a quote unquote regular battle, yes? Both troops have reserves, both troops have things on their back row, as in a regular early game battle. Obviously with cannons, this is not how it's supposed to look like, but in the early game, this is what happens, right? You send in your, your second stack, your reinforcements. They're actually doing nothing, but you have to, yeah? You have to accept that some of them do nothing, but they're gonna... But you need to send in... Both sides need to send in reserves and pray that they're gonna have uh, more than combat with... Like, no, well, they need to have more than comma with for their back row to go. So, I mean, I'm going to talk about practically what this means, but we're going to... Going to wait one more day. Yeah, we have everyone low moral. So, also, let's... Yeah. Okay, both deal 640 damage. That seems regular. Both back row go to the, the front line. Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, so Poland's... Uh, normal troops, because they reinforce later. 
But Lithuania still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lithuania had their their back row had no morals. So actually, when the back row of infantry has no moral, it appears that they do get one day. That's why like Lithuania gets one extra day of uh, of zombies is because their back row, which you know should retreat, they have no moral. Actually, ends up going on the back on the front row. Because there are some troops that, that validly go on the front row. And these troops will then retreat the next day because they're on the front row and they have no moral in their infantry. So they're just gonna skedaddle, yeah? Skedaddle. Meanwhile, our good friend Lithuania or Poland just plays it regularly. But there's still this weird thing where there's one day where everyone is zombie. Like. Okay. Now let's see what happens. They both dealt 640 damage, I don't know, seems a lot, but whatever. Here you can see Bone dealing more damage because they're flanking. Again, this like, weird sap. Wait a second, I didn't even pay attention to that, did you pay attention to that? On the day itself, that our back row was made here for Poland, they weren't here, right? They weren't on the extremities, they were in the middle, yeah? Yes. Yeah, so... They were only going to the extremities because reasons? But wait a second. On, uh, no, 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 because on the other one, in the other version, it was the first day of the... But this was the first day. Yeah, that was the first day of, of uh, the seventh. That was... Yeah, the seventh was the first day. They weren't on the... Now I'm completely confused. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I should pay attention. Anyway, they're... Uh... Yeah, and the next turn, presumably... Well, actually, this troop should survive, right? This troop should survive one more day. Maybe, actually. It's not guaranteed. Yeah, I guess not. I guess not just because... It of the uh, kill casualties, okay. So yeah, a lot of weird things. Now, practically, what does this mean? Yeah, How are you going to fight your early game battles knowing this? Well, it doesn't really change much, yeah? It means that... Actually sending... Okay, it, it does have a couple of implications, contrary to previous things, which is... You need to send in more than, than reserves if you're going to, to get your back row to go to the front line. So there's no timing in which it doesn't matter whether or not if you have less than reserves, like less than two times combat with, it doesn't matter at which point you reinforce. Never will they go to the front line. So whether they have, you know, full moral because they arrive the exact day or, or anything like that, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It also doesn't matter that you're going to like sortie, for example. You're like, oh, before you would sortie, and when you sortie, you would ensure that those troops that were, you know, suddenly you had troops on your back row, they would then join the fight on the front row, um, and they would give you like delay for your troops to arrive to fully occupy the front row without having taken moral casualty. That doesn't seem to, to be meaningful. But, but but there's still a purpose to sending some stacks in, like, uh, before you would, like, to try and, and secure, quote-unquote, your reinforcements, even before, like, even if you have, uh, like, what, what I call, the, like, the concept of the hero stack is still sensible for the purpose of not getting white, right? Or is that, does that make, still make sense? No, that doesn't make no, sense. No, that actually doesn't make sense, right? Well, actually, that is a good question. Can you get wiped if you have troops on your back row have moral, but you are under the, yeah, you are less than half, right? That actually is a good idea. Can you get wiped if you have troops on the back row have moral, but you. How do you have troops on the back row if you don't have a full front line? What? It has nothing to do with having, like, your front line collapses because they're out of moral, but you have troops in your back row that have moral. Do you get wiped or not? Yeah? I guess you could try. 
Because if that's the case, if you don't get wiped because your troops on the back row have more, well, you would retreat out of the fight, but you would not get wiped, yeah? Even though you have less than half, yeah? But I'm, hmm. I'm also thinking that if, if Poland, for example, or Lithuania, for that matter, won the battle at a different time, like, if their front line collapsed, when the other guy still has a front line, that then their back row might go to the front line. Okay, so that's the next thing we're going to test. We're going to test what happens if Lithuania potentially wins the battle. Is Or if Poland wins the battle, because let's say they have tech 4, yeah, they're clearly going to win the battle. Is Lithuania's back row, in that case, going to go to the front line? Okay, so here we're going to do... Uh, uh, for this one, we want to do test 3. Yeah. Actually, do doesn't really matter. Yeah. Test, uh, yeah, test uh, three is good. Yeah, or test two actually. Test two. Test two is twenty-four against twenty. That's what we want to test. Yeah, we're gonna give Lithuania tech four. We're gonna attack Lithuania over twenty k, and we're gonna reinforce with our four k like three days after our our we send in our twenty k. Therefore, yeah, tech our uh, lits. Uh, let's... Yikes! Mill, you know, thousand, and... Helps. Now, look, I know, I know, they don't have, they haven't regen their, their things. It's irrelevant. They're gonna win the battle because of the tactics. Attack Poland. My god, game. Right, attack Poland, AI, AI, AI. Um, that dies. I'm just sure. Okay. Maybe anyway. to increase combat dice to make sure they get stack wiped here. No, I'm not testing the stack wipe here. I'm testing. I'm testing the simple idea of like if Lithuania just straight up wins, you know, because maybe the bugs, quote unquote, are caused by the fact that our two front lines are losing on the exact same day. Yeah. Are retreating on the same day and that the system can't handle this yeah but maybe the system handles it correctly when only one of the two front line leaves so maybe when our when poland here's front line is going to leave before retreat before lithuania's lithuania still has a front line then maybe our units that will be in the back row we're going to have four units on the back row maybe those units will then go to the front row and fight yeah okay so there we go Yeah. But here it doesn't matter when we reinforce. We can reinforce now. We don't want to reinforce too late because you know there's quality difference. Okay, there we go. Yeah, everything normal. There we go. They arrive to the back row. They're gonna start taking full moral casualties, but they'll have moral left when the fight is over. Meanwhile, these guys are handily winning. Okay, East Clap. Okay. Right? Now, when both lines collapse the same day, here we can see this is not going to be the case at all. When both lines collapse the same day, these troops will not go to the front line. So will they now go to our front line? nope so even when <laughs> even when the collapse doesn't happen the same day our troops don't collapse and in fact the troops don't just ah <laughs> this, this is nasty so so actually this bug existed before right because this is why we constantly had these weird retreat bugs before i mean maybe it's just the first time this happens i didn't check where the poland style would retreat to Actually, didn't they retreat to uh, Krakow the other times? Yeah, Zai Zai, yeah, Nerd Boo. Yeah, yeah, they usually retreat. Like, yeah, so maybe this is just now we get to see the the retreat bugging action. They just just RNG, I guess, or I mean, uh, calls that we haven't determined yet. But they still retreat. So even when our Polish troops, even when the Lithuanian front line doesn't collapse the same day as our Polish front line, the buck still occurs and our troops on the back row don't make it to the front row. So it seems 
safe to say patch 1.30 pre-artillery shenanigans or at least with only infantry if you have troops on if you don't have more than double combat with if you don't have troops in reserves or if you have exactly two times combat with or at least like combat with minus one two times combat with minus one and you happen to be on the day that they are alternating into the reserves all right so if you end up with your front line collapsing without having troops in your reserve you do not get reinforcements yeah i mean that that is very problematic because like there's a lot of countries in the early game well i mean a lot of countries maybe not a lot of countries but again it goes to show you that like eu4 warfare doesn't start before you get you know more than than double combat with yeah because before that your reinforcements are just nothing like let's say you're brandenburg you have 30 troops those 10 troops are yours are never useful there is no situation in which those are useful yeah they literally do nothing yep. yeah so in fact actually there is a practical giveaway if you're fighting a solo war and you have uh you have like you have the capacity to go to 20 troops but not to go to 40 troops or 39 troops and probably with the alternating thing it's not something you can calculate like, you can't be like previously given dice rng you can just be like oh yeah the probability of me being on the alternating day with 39 no you can't do that so you just have to uh, there is actually no point there's literally no point in making more manpower troops over 20 if you're fighting the war solo now if you're fighting with allies etc which is the most likely case you'll have more than double combat with and so there will be a point of fielding as much troop as you can. But if you are fighting the war solo and you're a small country and you're fighting one on one, there's really no point in going over twenty com like over your combat with for your troops in, in manpower. Obviously with mercs, you may want to like preserve your manpower, etc. for the long term, but in the short term, it's just better to fight with like up to twenty or up to combat with just with mercs and not have any manpower fielded. Unless I mean there's you know considerations of are you still going to be able to recruit, you know, will you still have enough provinces and time to recruit your manpower later on once your fort has fallen and, and, and these types of considerations? Now, even for big countries, there's no reason to go over, like, the combat, but because it just doesn't do anything. Yeah? Well, yes, like there is a point, team? because you can field more than, if you're France, you can field 60 troops, yeah? And if you're fielding yeah. 60 troops, then not only are your you know your your troops above 40 useful because those are guaranteed to reinforce but actually your troops under 40 are also useful because they are going to switch from the back row to the front row yeah yeah okay. and then I from and then the guys in the reserve go to the and then the guys from the reserve go to the, the their own back row and actually a question then becomes are the guys you know, if, if France is fielding, let's say, 60k versus uh, Burgundy 60k or something, are the, are the, are the, are, are regiments 41 to 60, are those going to, to, to go from their back row to the front row? Or are we always going to have like six or like up to 20k of units lost? So we're going to go to our text six. That actually, can can this nonsense, does this nonsense only happen for the first front line, or can this keep going on and on like every fucking front line, as long as there are no cannons in the back row? So to test this, we're just going to, uh, um, huh, we're just going to uh, spawn 60 troops, I guess, and 62 for Lithuania, yeah. So, uh, debug mode, yeah. On nine six one. Because we, we know from, from the zombieing tests that the first front line, for some reason, behaves differently in some aspects than other front lines. So it's possible that this bug is is limited to the context of the first front line but it might also not be the case it might be a generalized issue uh, okay 
Now we don't need these to have different moral because we can just tell them apart from their names. Right, like this. Um, we haven't tested if, if things are consolidated, if it makes a difference or not. But we'll go back yeah, to that yeah, later yeah. on. At this point, I'm just going to, uh, to make three stacks to 20. I mean, you also do like the thing with uh, 20 versus 18 and the front lines alternating. Yeah? That's an um, important thing. The what? If you have a no, none of that is... None of that's gonna happen here. I mean, it might happen on our like second back row front line, but well, I mean, all of that is like yet to be determined. Ah, yeah. oh, Gunny. How? Why are you doing it this way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Yikes! Man. You just have to not merge them all together. Yeah, but no, only if that works. It's not clear whether or not that's gonna work yet. What? Logic dictates that that's how it works, but yeah, again, like, there's nothing logical about any of this. Yeah? Uh -huh. No, I mean, stop splitting it like that. It's like the worst way to split it. Truth. Whatever. Yeah? <laughs> you like this? You like me doing, uh, fucking it up? Yeah. I do okay, like this is uh, pretty a goal now, yeah. We just like march them out. Oh my god. You want me to what? I mean, I guess it's not fine. Like, you already committed so much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're already committed. See, I uh, I did the uh, I did the math, so I went to the math and I realized that it's strategic <laughs> use of my units, so I was strategic <laughs> use of my units. It's not strategic <laughs> at all. It's not strategic at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I'm supposed to make like the templates. Oh my god. Okay, just merge them all together. Oh my What do you mean merge them all together? Yeah? Yeah, you want me to merge them together and have a template, yeah, ready. No, not even a template. If you like just split them enough times it eventually just goes to like what you want, yeah. Okay, now we just AI. Okay. Gonna wait three months. Oh my god! It's a pain. You didn't even save it. You have to do all this shit again. Okay, now this time don't merge them all together. Just, just like cancel all the troops you don't want to get merged, and then you leave it at that. Yeah, it's much better than what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna make eighty troops, and yeah, that's the secret. Uh -huh. yeah, you could just do that too. There's a lot more clicking. Attack it at first, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> 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 yeah. Why doesn't this, like, you know, work? Like, you know, fucking 20, but you know, no, like, the game fucking retarded. Yeah. No, well, actually, I didn't put a space, but. It even fucking crashes your fucking. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> like why game? Why? Yeah, you like that? No, I don't like that at all actually. Right. I told you that you're as a pay cup of game. Fucking puppy. Voice recording, so. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, you like that? Scott, you're so cringe, Saibu. Not working. Like, imagine <laughs> testing you for, like, you, you got nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sad. Yeah, it's like really sad. Imagine being such a fucking nerd. Yeah. Now. You like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine, imagine trying so hard to uh, 
to get my recognition cyber. Like, actually desperate. Your recognition working out, I don't think so. Your support time you can make. <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, Brobega boy, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, true. Now. Yeah, you want that? So. I mean. Having to do this with you is just making me depressed, pig, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tag AI first, yeah. Or not tag AI, just AI. Just AI first. Probably AI, yeah, it's fine. I think we might as well test it with AD. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 what are you doing with your life? Ah, fuck. Here and... These two. And we do have to set common devices because yep. new thing. Yeah. Size one. All right. We need to wait three months. You like that? You like that? No. Ugly is a nerd, by the way. Yeah, that was not. Just, you know, I just wanted to set the record straight there. <sighs> you know, I heard some people pretend that he's in fact not a nerd. In fact, he is a nerd. He's the biggest nerd of all time. All right, so we tap with our 20k. How are we, actually, how are we going to reinforce this to make this happen? Like, if we just send in everything at the same time. I mean, you could just okay. send in everything once and then try like different ways after. Yeah, all right. Because you have to send something that's more than. Well, actually. No, because this might like fuck up with the altern. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter the no, alternating. Matter. Yeah. But it might matter for the alternating for the very last one. Alright. Oh, I just checked the, I checked the alternating guys. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, no. because I mean, they are going to alternate. Yeah, look, this guy. Yeah, 42. Yeah, they do. Wait, Eleven, one. It's it, they are donating all fucking nonsense. Like it's just <laughs> complete it's random like people. Like They're the sixty like or the forty, the forty troops that can alternate. Like that? Are they gonna? Four, no, there are four troops that alternate. Oh wait, no, all of them do. Forty, yeah, all of them alternate. Yeah, you like that? Here is forty-two. Right. Yeah, like that. Of course, you can see the other guys don't alternate. Anyway, no, they don't. Why not? But oh, the other guys in the back row, only the corner guys are alternating. Yeah, oh, the corner guys are alternating. Okay. Yeah, 39 and 40. Yeah. 39 and 40. Alright, let's see here. This is our first front line, our first front line, everything is equal. Now, guaranteed is going to reinforce here, right? Because we have both have enough troops of the reserve. But last time, last time both of them actually like zombied as well, yeah. I think when the when the weird stuff happened, yeah. So we'll see whether or not they they go to zero. They're gonna instantly change. I think they're gonna instantly change. Nope, they actually both go to zero. 
I guess they made it. I guess the big change compared to before is that now troops are just... Because it's more than 12 days, it's like a month has passed. Whereas before, if your troops reach zero moral, yeah, they would only stay on the front line if it happened in the first 12 days, yeah, before troops could retreat, essentially. But now it seems like they just, you know, troops just always stay on the front line with a uh, zero moral and only leave the day afterwards. So it just seems like this is, it seems essentially they fixed the zombie bug. By now just having your troops stay the day that they reach zero moral on the front line. I mean, well, no, they stay two times on the front line. Oh, no, that was that was the other day. That was the, that was because their back. Yeah, the oh, but we'll, we'll see about that. Is our back row, which is zero moral, now going to go to the front line or not for a so second what day? The back row called? That's what, what's he called? He is 58, okay. I mean, he's the only other guy that has no moral. So if there's a second day oh, of yeah, no yeah. moral, this is going to have moral and this is not going to well, have no, moral. You, might, no, you might show that the front line still stays on the front line, the back line just retreats. Yeah, like see, there you go. The back row with zero moral yeah, yeah. went to it. So actually now, I think in patch 1.30, what was happening now is just that the front line can fights with zero moral, yeah? It just fights one day with zero moral. And so... This is like what's causing the weird thing. I... But then why does the battle end when there are no reinforcements at all? When there are no reinforcements at all in reserve, the battle does in fact end when our troops reach zero moral, yeah? They don't fight that extra day when they have zero moral. They retreat that day. But when we do have reinforcements, then the troops stay the day they're zero moral for both sides. Yeah, now we just have, and now we have our second day when our back row went to thing, and now the back row now has, has moral. They have less moral than because they took, uh, you know, 0 0.03 uh, uh, moral casualties a day. And so, and some of them have even less because some of them have cycled in and out. <laughs> Creating discrepancies, yeah, I like that a lot. And so next day we're gonna have our another new front line. And now our guys are in the back row, and there's a difference. And so now a question is: no one has reserves, right? They have two reserves here, but we wait. What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's like there's the yeah, yeah. So the alternator. So one day extra. And now Poland is not gonna have reserves. Wait, okay, maybe it needs like one more. Maybe it's going to alternate in such a weird way that it just so happens that the guy are going to stick with like very little. At some point they should have like no guys in reserves, yeah? But no, because the guys in reserves have so much. At this point the guy in reserves like that are alternating just the pool is too little and so they're going to keep having moral. So everyone is going to have moral the last day. Now, what we want to see is, in fact, we saw that our, our back row, our initial back row, was also able to fight with zero moral. Is our third row, the first third front row, but essentially that were not participants, that came fully from the reserve, are they also going to zombie? Then I need to start testing with fucking cannons, like, Jesus. See if, if well, things no, are cannon, gonna... No. Think, if yeah. cannons, are there, if cannons are present, there's no alternating that happens. There's no alternating, but it's not about the alternating. It's about the fact that... Our, is our infantry oh, with yeah. cannons on the back row going to stick with zero moral on the front row for one day? Or not? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay so, yeah, we still have two in reserve. Everyone has reserves, so we know there's gonna be a battle. Or another front line. The battle's not going to resolve. That's good. And they still fight. So yeah, it's just now troops just fight. The wait, what? Wait, did I miss? Yeah, some of them. This guy has no moral and is still on the front line. Well, one of them is zero point zero three and one zero point one. Yeah, exactly. They're different because of the like alternating nonsense. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, but they're, you know, some of them, these two guys, the most hurt guys, I mean, you know, some of them here have zero moral, just like here. 
but they're still fighting. So everyone is staying one day. So part of our front line is going to collapse next turn. It's going to be occupied by whatever alternator still might have moral. Maybe no one is going to have moral the day after this one. This might be the case, actually. Except Lithuania, which should have two, like, high reserve guys. But we still have some reserve guys for Poland as well. Okay. What, we took 5-4-3 kill casualties that day? On Lithuania? I did not see I saw. We took 5 for 3 kill casualties on Lithuania then. Okay, now I look at the... On these troops. Yeah, now there's alternators on Lithuania side, but on... Yeah, we have like... Partial, like, uh, zombies. Others that have like 0.0, .0 moral, they're still in. You know what's interesting is some are colored as like... Essentially signaling that they're gonna retreat. It's actually... Are they... Because there's there's yet another hypothesis, okay? <laughs> what if, Cyber? What if they mimicked the new combat mechanic on like the naval mechanics? And now the troops that have zero moral, even though they are on the front line, they don't participate. Well no, that's impossible because then there is no way like if, there's no way they would deal so much kill casualties, right? Yeah, no no no. So they do participate, yeah, yeah. So, like, there's a difference. See, this is what's weird. There's a difference in color, but this guy has no moral, and this guy has no moral. So I guess the, the difference in color is just because it indicates that these guys are going to leave next turn, but this guy is going to stay here next yeah, turn. Yeah, because he just started zero moral this day, so we use, like, five. No, never mind. The entire battle is lost. Okay, it makes no fucking sense, Cyber. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. All right? No sense at all. Now, now we need to test... We need to somehow test our zombie mechanic. But I, we're just going to make a test with cans. We're going to give them uh, tech 4, 7. We're going to give... Oh, you don't need to do that. You can just spawn health nice. And then oh, okay. Come, so. all right. yeah, but you sure? I, I, it's kind of wonky because they do no damage at all. But they just like take morale damage. So... Yeah, yeah okay. But they, they fill in the back line, right? They fill yeah, in they the fill back, in back line. line. It does, it does what all right, do. all right, all right. They fill the back line. That's what we want. So spawn, hoofness. No, 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 the province thing first. Spawn <laughs> two nine six one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you're fucking making my game crash, you fucking oh, nerd. You fucking nerd. I think it was supposed to be half nice first and then the province thing. Yeah. How oh, did you miss that? You probably missed that, did you? No, you probably are a Zopega head. Yeah. You're the biggest Zopega head I've ever fucking seen, nerd. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus! Alright. No, no, it is. You, you spelled it wrong, Zopega. What do you mean I spell it wrong? How do you spell it? It's, yeah, because it's, pro it's spawn, province, ID, subunit. Yeah, how, uh, how did I spell it wrong? I didn't spell it wrong. Yeah, you probably did. Oh, I probably did. I probably did. Probably did. Well, find me the correct spelling then, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's probably Yeah, 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 yeah. What worthless assistant thing. Yikes, imagine me being the assistant. Yikes, yikes. I'm gonna cut you out of this entire <laughs> video. <laughs> right. Yeah. If I don't find the answer to every question that is being asked, uh... Well, you know uh -huh. who the culprit is, yes, 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 true, uh -huh. true. Uh -huh. Yes, H-O-U-F-N-I-C-E. Yeah, that's literally what I wrote, I do. Yeah, it seems that you are a Zobega. So what did you do wrong then? I didn't give him the tech, I imagine. But I can up you the arrow and we can the review tech. what went wrong. Yeah, it was that simple. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Wait, is it, is it being recorded while we're in the mid, uh, this mid session here? Right? Yes, of course, of course. Oh. Keep pushing. Yeah, keep pushing. So. Wait, you're embarrassed. Yeah. Eh. No, you should be embarrassed for somehow messing up something so simple. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't believe so. It's like, I believe so. Go back to being a Cordelia simple.
Fucking nerd. Uh-huh. Yeah, true, actually. I'd rather be a cardio assistant than a bro baby like you. Yeah, of course, of course. Now, all right. So let's see. Yeah. See, isn't that how you yeah, write? Stream. Yeah. Stream it. I am streaming, you fucking nerd. Like. Yeah, you just streamed it now. You didn't stream. What do you before. mean? I just streamed it now. What do you okay, mean? Wait, wait, wait. H-O-U Oh, you, what? Yikes, you did spell it wrong. What, Haufness? It has to be this much of a Brobega. H-O-U-F? H-O-U-F-N-I-C-E Yikes, I boo. Imagine, okay, yeah, imagine. Imagine. Imagine spelling it like this. All right, there you go. Okay, it works. Now we need 20. Actually, were they, was the Foy, no, the Foy was not a tech four. Yeah, no, no Gucci. Go, 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 now we're just gonna group everything and make it smoother. Yeah, there we go, true, true, true. Lit. Tag. All right. I guess I actually shouldn't have put everything together. Who cares? No, I can say in my it's not the exact recreation. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not like the same. Four, five, three, group, nine. Yeah. Oof, yeah. oh, we need... You don't need to count it. You can just see once it goes to one hundred and two. Oh really? Yeah, but maybe I like. Counting, have you considered that? So, I do know you haven't. You know what? You're a bro, B. Go ahead. Wait, merge those groups, yeah? Or merge the cannon on those groups. Hmm, actually, we need all of them to arrive the same day, so we need to merge these guys because otherwise, we're gonna have funky things. Yeah, yeah we're just gonna, we're, yeah, funky things. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, uh, AI and combat dice one. Alright, yeah, alright, irrelevant infantry. Only one of them has cannons, though, by the way. So. Well, let me only one of them. Oh, no, no, I gave both of them cannons here, too. We probably should test that as well, one of the size cannons. And also, maybe the presence of one single cannon actually makes a difference, yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we see the damage but is like the, the same. The, Hulkers, the cannons do no damage. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Infantry, yeah? mm, it looks like the cannons are dealing damage. It doesn't, they shouldn't because they don't have like tech, right? Yeah, it didn't make any damage. Yeah, they do do zero but, damage. But didn't they just take damage? I mean, no, they only take more. Because they took damage. 440 damage, but isn't that more than like before? Before they didn't take 440 damage, did they? At no point did they ever no, take they did, 440. They did 440 is not more, yeah? Not at day 10. Interesting. Or maybe I'm wrong. Also, zoom in closer, you Sopega. Also, like, don't you find the damage range to just like. Kind of nonsensical. I mean, it's the okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the up and down cycle that I described like in the previous video, where the kill casualties seem to go up, like, and not due to uh, rounding up errors, seem to go. Uh, what is it? Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, etc. Uh, which is still like another un un unexplained phenomenon, and that still seems to be the case. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we'll just. There's no alternating clearly. So the question is, are these nerds gonna zombie? Okay, next turn. Yeah. They are zombie. Yeah, even with cannons, they are zombie. Yeah. Okay. But of course, next turn we're gonna have a front line. Yeah, they all have more. It's a fresh new front line. Yeah. Wait, so then do all like the all reserves frontline first then oh all frontline oh, ones yeah. because then it just adds value to like units even if you're overstacking them because they're in the battle for one day 
<laughs> Actually, your 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 back line. So, the result of that, Saibu, is that. Well, no, because you need you need some reserve troops for your back row to go to the front row. But any troops that you have on the back row, even though they have zero moral, are still going to deal one damage, one day of of yeah, uh, like moral casualties and kill casualties. Yeah. 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 So because they have some regiment strength, like what whichever regiment strength they happen to have, probably full because they were in the back row, but Okay. Attack a boss again. Being... I mean, and obviously if you have a full back row of cannons, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have over, uh, <laughs> over two times combat with, and thus you yeah, don't, yeah. you don't have a problem. So this this problem only exists in the early game. Um, I mean, it might be a reason to ha have like a full back row of cannons at tech seven too, because to yeah, like to prevent this bug, right? Yeah, but I'm assuming if you have only one cannon, then it's gonna work. I would could try that as well. It just, I mean, if, you, if you just have one cannon, I can just try it. See what it just I'm seems logical to me. Yeah, it seems logical to you. What part of this has any logic? Okay. You, you're gonna repeat my lines? Is that, is that your new gimmick? Yeah. yeah just be yeah, yeah. Just just be like Dave says. A uh, really really bad discounted version of me. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, Dave exports all the memes we make in the, these servers into like a different server. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Dumb Dave. See, see where I did there? I mean, it doesn't matter. This AI. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see oh, at this here. point, clearly, okay. So we have our cannon. Where's our cannon? It's right there in the it's middle. Right there, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have our other guys taking. But I mean, we're gonna have. Uh, don't we have done these tests with like twenty k twenty? Like, with with one cannon, but like four troops, like twenty five k, and but one cannon. I think that's the test we should have done. Yeah, we have a cannon in the back row, but we have like four infantry reinforcing. I mean, whatever. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I mean, we can do that after. See what happens now. Yeah. Let me check the sides if they're alternating or not. Check the edges, like what? They are alternate. Yeah, they, they still do. So the cannon doesn't prevent them from alternating. Yeah, we need the full cannon back row to prevent them from yeah, alternating. Yeah. And then we can look at the cavalry book with the deployment of the cannon stack. So. Yeah, continue. Maybe. Hmm. No. Uh, huh. And like, maybe the way it works is that. Like, but I, I, I suppose not because it's particularly linked to these two. But maybe they. Maybe Paradox tried to implement like a method for cannons to progressively join the back line if you reinforce poorly, like if you've taken a bad or you've. If you've taken a bad or poorly because you didn't have a vanguard and so you, you don't have your cannons on the back row, then we need them to somehow get to the back row and replace the infantry there, but it's just, you know, as far as we know, I mean, we can test that too. RNG, yeah. what happens, but I don't, like, I, I think for sure that we've seen battles in 1.3, I mean, you know, I should play the patch, the patch terrible, so why would you? Uh, Yeah. 
Lithuania has a huge morale advantage, why is that? Well, because they have four cannon back. Yeah, but the cannons aren't doing anything. Yeah, but they are, they are, they are soaking, uh, like, moral casualty. They're preventing infantry from going on the back row oh, and taking yeah, moral yeah, yeah, casualty. Okay. That the entire thing, our entire front line. Wait, wait, wait. Why is this guy at zero point twenty and the other guy? Is because at... it's the uh, alternating guy, so he can't up to the front line. Yeah, but there's only one alternate. Last time there were a lot of. Yeah, there. See, it's like different. Zero point twenty seven, zero point fourteen. Yeah, but there's only one guy at zero point zero zero. When last time there were like. Well, no, because now there's many. like a guy in the center. Yeah, there was a cannon right there. Okay. So, yeah. Whatever. Maybe he's like the remainder from the last time. Okay, that makes maybe. Yeah. Wait, what just happened here? Yeah, we got no more reserves. Now they're gonna start alternate. Yeah, the guy actually alternated. The guy that was here, he went back to our reserves. You like that side? <laughs> yeah. Everything is collapsing and... What's the sequence in which they collapse out like? Is it, yes. is it based on the alternating guys, I guess? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go back to test 2. We're gonna give ourselves one cannon. See whether or not the cannon forces are... Uh, our back row to the front row, despite not having uh, enough troops to go into the reserves, yeah? Thanks, what have I done? Alright. So, I mean, we can do it. And then... Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, on the 14th, that's fine. I mean, either way, it doesn't make any difference because there's no altered, like, there's never any troops under reserve. All right, so our troops are going to arrive, they're going to be on the back row, they'll have a little bit more left at the end of the of our front line collapsing. Is our front line just going to collapse before they reach zero moral, or on the day they reach zero moral, or are they going to stay and fight one day on zero moral? Well, we can't figure that out because well, let me already died. No. Or even with a cannon, they don't stick. They don't stick uh, with zero moral on the front line. They only stick with zero moral on the front line if you have reserves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, for them to reinforce, you need to have troops in your reserve. You must have troops in reserve if you're going to have a new front line, no matter the moral of your back row, and. And they, uh, and if you do, your troops are going to fight an extra day. They're going to actually stay. They're going to soak the damage. It's going to reduce them from 0 0.01 to 0. And then that 0 day, they're going to deal kill casualties and more casualties. Isn't that nice, Cypher? Isn't that nice? Are, That's beautiful. Are they actually? Beautiful. Actually, I want to, to look at something else. Actually, they might have changed the entire sequencing thing. I might that, that last statement might actually be oh. wrong. Um. Like, have we ever seen troops be at full regiment strength on the front line after the first one? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but this is a bit annoying because how are we now to test like? The bat, like the defender bug. I guess the defender bug no longer happens now, yeah? Because the troops. What do you mean it doesn't? I mean, it hasn't the attacker always lost in our test so far. Yeah, Unless but. Unless you give them, like, a 
<laughs> yeah, but they, 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 the, <laughs> yeah, if everything is equal, but it's no longer like they, they are shooting the retreating troops. Yeah. Now they're always shooting the, the reinforcing troops. Right. What do you mean they're shooting the retreating troops? Yeah. Um, like there was a, the difference, the, the, the hidden defender bonus was that the defender would shoot the reinforcing troops of the attacker on the day of his retreat, whereas the opposite was not happening. And now everyone is just staying. Like, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. It could still, it could still happen. I don't. How am I even gonna test this? I literally, I have to go back here to test that. I think now every time, yeah, no. Who knows? Okay, we're just gonna look for that. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, straight, uh, straight through full can stack versus full can stack, regular battle, defender bonus. Yeah, because you know, if you just happen to win, if everything is exactly equal, that's not much of an advantage, just like a tag order advantage. So, AI, uh, let me just go in. So here what we're looking for is who gets shot. Um, we're actually going to stack switch to lift for this. Because with Lithuania we can... Ah, I forgot to... What, uh, we can check this out, yeah? Okay. So Wait, this guy is taking that. I guess he's the alternator. Huh? Why is this guy? Yeah. Why is this guy taking that? What? We found it. What is he called? Is it because of attrition? He was out of the fight? Oh, no, he was in the fight, so he doesn't take attrition. Like, why has he taken damage? What is his name? Like, what is he? He's a sixth army, so what? Why? What is he called? No, I, but he should not part. He's not participating in the fight. He should not have taken kill casualties. Okay. What, what, it makes no sense. Why? Why did he take kill casualties? Only this guy should have taken. Only our front line should have taken kill casualties. And clearly, our front line has taken. Oh, but I guess okay. I guess there's like two regiments inside here that did not like these guys participated, and eighteen out of twenty of these guys participated, and that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Now mm -hmm. we're gonna slow it down so we don't miss anything, and. Okay, so next turn everything is going to be zombie. The question is, our zombies are still going to get shot, right? So regiment strength 564, and we can see it in the ledger as yeah, well. Yeah, it's under 532. 553 next turn. There we go, 542. 542, yeah. yeah so they took the damage. It's the same here, right? Both are taking the damage. Okay, so now the question becomes what happens next turn? Who is taking uh, kill casualties and when are they taking? Are they are troops that are going to go to the front line in these troops and the and uh, here the fresh troops? So here we're going to have fresh moral. Well, actually, in both cases, we're going to have fresh moral troops because we have a full cannon back line. So they're going to arrive on the day and they're going to they're once we see it, they're going to have like 970 or something or 980 regiment strength because they've already taken both yeah there you go 970 68 968 okay so they resolved the defender problem because now both arrive on the front line and both immediately take their kill casualties of the day itself yeah okay so that is solved okay. so yeah it's just this this weird thing where the back row doesn't go to the front line unless there's uh uh, there's reason to do so. Okay, lull them out, lull them out. 
Yeah, you like me saying Lola Ma? And, and then there's been reports of final thing. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, okay. Kitty screeching, if you prefer. Yeah. What? Kitty screeching, if you prefer. Yeah. What does that involve? What's the name of calf? Okay, I guess I can check, yeah. Is there anyone? Because the Easter night doesn't might not be how the the, the game file is <coughs> called. <It's> cool. <coughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm right, Russian. I I'm hundred percent sure. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. We're, we're we're done for now. We're done for now. Yeah, I'm hungry. So. Wait, we're done for now. What? Yeah, we're done for now. Yeah. I'll pay you a little All right. I think we've we came to the bottom of this entire thing. Not really, but there you go. So we just determined that there is clearly a. Uh, a reinforcement bug where if you don't have any reserve troops you cannot like get your back row troops to your front row and so, so then what, what's the issue you have to send like so if you want like the back row to do something they have to do you have to send it 42 at once or like you have to send it, like, you have to send 41 yeah, to be guaranteed if you send 39 or 40 there is like a, a chance that you have reserve troops because of the alternating so you have 50 percent chance if you, if, if you have 39, you have 50% chance. But if you want to be guaranteed, you need 41 troops. So. Yeah. yeah. So you have to send combat with, and, and then you need to send more. You need to wait to send more. But you do need to send in the. Well. And then you need to send in your 21. So the first the first stack that goes in is 20 is combat with and then the next stack that goes in is combat with plus 1 and it needs to arrive, you know, as close as possible to the uh the 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 retreat of the front line. But the the thing is that before before you would, you know, you would send in troops to attempt to so that Okay, because of the RNG nature of the battles, especially in the early game, it's not like you can predict accurately and consistently when you have to reinforce. So you have to reinforce predicting like the range of outcomes possible with a taking an acceptable yeah. amount of risk. Because if you never take any risk, you're losing equal bat wars. Um, and, but before you had strategies where you could reduce the risk, or manage the risk by sending in a little bit of soldiers, like two soldiers, the hero regiments, um, at a time where there is zero risk of you, like your front line retreating, and so they would arrive on the back row, and then eventually your front row would collapse, and the, those two units, those two hero units, would go to the front, and they would take like two to three to four days of moral casualties, and then when your your combat whiff would arrive, it would fill up the front row and would be it would have taken zero moral casualties. But this entire strat is no longer possible because now these two guys in the the back row they don't they don't do nothing. Yeah, they don't do nothing. You know? So now you're just sending in combat with plus one as reinforcements, uh, and you're doing your best. To like reinforce at uh, as closest as possible to uh, uh, to the the day that they need to arrive, but they yeah, but you can no longer manage the risk in any like smart capacity. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, you just send in like twenty and then twenty plus. Yeah, you send combat with plus one, and then there you go. Then you can. You yeah, but then whether or not they arrive, you know, oh, six yeah, days yeah. ahead of time or one day ahead of time is. RNG due to the combat dice. Yeah. So there you go. Because yeah. if someone throws nine nine nine, you have to you you have to like send, assuming that they're going to throw like seven seven, right? 
Because if you don't assume that, then you might lose, yeah? And you're not gonna, f you're gonna get reinforced assuming 9-9, nine, nine, because if you do that, you're going to lose a battle that you would win otherwise, like, so... But you, you, you typically, you assume 7-7, seven, seven, whatever that roughly... Your, like, hopefully your brain has some, like, intuitive idea of what that means. Calculating that is in the, in the moment is impossible. And, uh, and if you're Zaibu and you're a Brobega, then you know, just forget it. That you're just gonna lose every war regardless, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I actually have amazing reinforcement. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, yeah, yeah. That is that strategic unit control. Well, actually you do, because... Because here's the thing with you, Zaibu, is because you're so slow, you're always reinforcing late, and so whenever your troops do manage to come on time, it's always because your opponent ended up yes because your opponent ended up rolling really bad no because most of, like when you at like your your expected outcome with how you reinforce is that your troops get wiped because you you get like you send four suckers in to just get wiped but so yeah you're you're in fact right when you do reinforce on time because your opponent threw really poor dices then your your reinforcements are fantastic yeah keep doing that and keep losing every single ward nerd yeah yeah it'll all about yeah, you, you're doing a mouse right now, but I'm drawing an L on your board, yeah. I'm drawing an L on your board, yeah, because you're... Yeah, you're trying, yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, do, do I give a shit? Uh, no, I don't think so. Alright, yeah, see you in Bell, nerd. Yeah, see you in Bell. Uh -huh. Wait, is that D&D &D today?